guys welcome back to another witness minecraft episode um something's different i want to i want to show you guys something look how awesome this looks um so i'm using uh, one of the shader packs it's not too big on the actual uh, you know shadering instead it tried to give like the keep the actual minecraft vibe and also add some shadows and it works awesome um yeah look at all the shadows look how the game looks in this state what do you guys think um, I still want to support like an official shader pack um, to the game. So when I actually publish this uh, map, I'm gonna give uh, give the actual shader pack as well, along with all the other. Um, oh, look at that! It's the, it's the right spot where you. Oh, I don't want to spoil it. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, so this is. I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna fix the sun in that position when I do the game. Um, and uh, yeah. Uh, I really like how this looks. I'm kind of happy. Um, and even like the shadows of you know these vines against the against the wall there, that looks amazing. Uh, what I'm gonna do in this episode is that I'm gonna get all the vegetation done and call it done for the for for the, this area. So the only thing that's missing from this area is the final vegetation, like the bushes and trees and all the maps. Um, I'm not sure if you wanna tackle the maps. I'll get try to get some maps done, but I'll the maps themselves are kind of big job. So. Um, first I'm going to tackle all the vegetation down here. I'll be right back. <laughs> so I started working on the vegetation and I realized my iPad is out of battery. So here I am working on the maps again. <laughs> um, so I'm going to uh, wait on that till the actual iPad charts up. But um, uh, meanwhile I thought I'd actually get these maps done. So these are the different uh, maps you're getting. There's one by one maps. So these, all these maps are in the starting area essentially. Now we categorize into which category they belong. Um, so the one by one maps are essentially the straight line maps. I think there's plenty of these in the witness game itself. Um, and the next category is the four by four. That's the map I already built. Uh, unfortunately, this is the only sort of the map so far you can find in this um, starting area that belongs to this category, meaning that I'll have to break this down. <laughs> um, and the six by six is the uh, the next three maps. Essentially, it belongs to the six by six, where we have like six by six grid. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up the six by six uh, vertices first, and then I'll connect all the dots. Uh, I think that's the best way to go on about this because there's always an index, but not a side. Um, once I do that, I can easily create these um, other screens. Now this is a six by six, and this is a six by six as well. And uh, once I do that, um, then I'm work on the actual the big one, the ten by ten. Time lapse time. Wait, hold on. You guys already saw the time lapse. So, right. <laughs> for me, it's working time. Oh man, this is gonna take a while, but it has to be done. See you guys soon. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. <laughs> Made a big mistake. Almost. So with Minecraft 13, uh, sorry 15, um, they introduced a new mechanic where you can actually lock your maps, meaning that once you um, lock your map, the, any changes to the actual terrain, it's not gonna get reflected back in the map. I'm gonna actually make use of that mechanic because I want to keep this make um I want to keep this thing right. I don't want to change how this looks like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lock that in place. All right. So this is my first time actually using the card agree table. <laughs> so I'm not sure how it's gonna go. Um. So that's my map. So what happens if I do this? So in case I'm creating two copies of my map. Yeah. Okay. So that's what I want to do first. Um. I want to clone my map. I want to keep the map in place still, so I'm gonna clone and two copies of it. Um, okay, that's the same map, I think. Um, so the reason I created three copies is that I want to still keep a copy here. Um, right, do do. Right, go in place. Okay, so these two maps are not locked but are cloned. 
Um, so I want to keep this one as not locked because I'm not going to be uh, putting the puzzle pants here, right? This is just for me, my reference. So that will be dynamically changing as I change the building. So I'm going to look in one of these puzzles. Okay, so I'm going to put in, um, yeah, I want to lock in one. So this is the one that's going to get actually marked, uh, put place in the actual uh, puzzle panel. So I'm going to lock that in. Whoop, okay, that's locked. See that's lock icon there. Uh, can I name this once it's locked? Oh, I don't want to name it because once you name it, it'll show up on the item frame somehow. So this puzzle is uh, locked, I think. You can see it's locked, meaning that even if I change the AI in dimensions, it's not going to change. So I'm going to quickly go over to that spot in the map. Alright, so I can quickly test this out if it changes or not by simply carving out this circle. Now, in any of the maps other than this, there's no circle on the bottom right except for like some of the 6 by 6s so I must check it is um, what would be the ADS is just this is how I, you can just rip out 4x4 four four big in the middle um, and if I do this this should show up like a dot in the middle of the map and um, since this is a locked map that's not gonna change alright so that works and intended if I switch over to the uh, actual map you can see the dot it's there cool so this works so I'm gonna quickly go out of there and play the map in the way it's supposed to be Alright, so this map's not going to change, it'll stay there, whereas this map I'm going to take down and create this first 6x6 six six grid. Alright, so I cleared the, the grid, um, there shouldn't be anything anymore, um, so I had to have this um, beacon for now. Anyway, so I want to show you guys something, um, so I'm using Figma to uh, help me sort of set up the grid and um, you can just use the Figma sort of layout tools to automatically lay out all this for me. So essentially the, um, the grid is now 10, at least 10 by 10, um, it's, it's a 7 by 7 grid, uh, 10 blocks away from each other and um, I have changed the, the actual word size from 5 to 6 um, this is to maintain so 5 is like an odd number meaning that if I were to have like a 5 it wouldn't align in, in the right center it will be like off by 1 either side so that's why I went mean, with 6 by 6 um, I think that should still work like 6 by 6 grid um, 3, 4, 5, 6 1, 2, 3, 5 Six. Um. See, so that's how this uh what this looks like in the uh, on the map. That looks alright. If I were to f take out the edges to make a curve, this technically should look like a end. Um. Do 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 do. Yeah. Okay. Right. I'm I'm happy with that. Um. I'm okay with that shape. Um. Right. So that's what I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with six by six grid, and I'll set that up. Right up. Oh, cut the next we're gonna do. So half an hour later, uh, the grid is done. Let me get up the actual thing. Um, yeah, so the grid is in place. Um, so this took <laughs> about half an hour to finish. Um, while I was building this, I came to a like profound realization <laughs> that hey, maybe this is the wrong way about going about this. So what I was saying is that um, eventually I'll be making all these puzzle is intractable right so um, I thought about a few ways of doing that so essentially um, in, uh, in the mod side of things I'm actually working on something called the puzzle panel so essentially where you can put in like an it's a, like item frame entity essentially and they'll 
um, you can actually place your maps in there and it'll look like a puzzle frame. But uh, eventually, I want to actually make these puzzles interactable. I mean, you would be able to solve this like in the game. Uh, that would be awesome, right? Which means I have to sort of implement this puzzle mechanism in the actual mod itself somehow. Like, um, so I had to abstract that into the actual map, um, into the mod, right? Um, which means I don't actually need all <laughs> these item frames, like puzzle panels anymore. I could just simply use the actual mod itself to create all these. I know it kind of sounds like a cheap uh, crop out, but in order to make in order to make all these puzzles interactable, I still have to make them in the mod side of things. So instead of making these puzzles in a map, what I should be doing is that I should be making like a special crafting table that lets me design all these maps in Minecraft. So you can think of uh, like a crafting table, but instead of three by three, you you can make it as big as much as you want, and you can place all these elements uh, in the um, puzzle grid and create the puzzles like that. That way I can make it both intractable and also easy to make in the long run. Um, I'm thinking about it, should I be making these puzzles if that's the case? <laughs> I know it's it's taking too long. Uh, this one took me about 3 hours or so to actually finish from end to end. Um, yeah, so I want... Oh man, I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's a big decision to make and uh, as I... As, um, some of you guys pointed out in the earlier episodes that there's about 526 or so puzzles. Yeah, there's 514 or 16 or so um, puzzles. Can't even remember the exact number, but there's many puzzles to make. And three times, let's say at minimum, this takes three hours. Three times into six, that's that's a lot of maps. <laughs> I don't want to work on that now. Um, if I were to uh, three hours and three, if I calculate that, I'll be more than six years. Or so if I would actually do it in real life, so this might be my last puzzle that I'm actually making in this way. Um, or do I even want to continue this through? <laughs> I don't know. I'm sort of in many minds about this, really. Um, because work I'm gonna be doing right now, it's essentially gonna be scrapped in the future if I were to do this. <laughs> Yeah, although it sounds fun to do, but it's not really not. It's just repetitive work, which I'm trying to avoid too. So I might uh, spend that effort in making that um, puzzle panel entity thingy I was talking about earlier. Um, yeah, uh, what do you guys think? I don't want to waste, waste too much time on this. Um, so I know I did say that, hey, this puzzle panel is going to be pointless going forward, given that I'm going to be remaking this, all these maps in the mod side of things. Um, I still want to get all the, the start, at least the starter area, or entry area puzzles done. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to disregard the fact that I'm going to discard this for now. I'm going to keep working on this and get all the uh, puzzle panels on the entry area done. And going forward, once I move out from that area, all these puzzle panels will be recreated in the puzzle uh, on the mod side of things. So let me get to that. at that uh that's the um which puzzle is this i think this is the fourth panel um either way it's done <laughs> i'm happy about that okay and um, let's put this in place okay um so it's i think it's the puzzle over here right if i'm not mistaken Ooh, i don't need a, i need an item frame all right um let's put this in and 
All right, look at that. So that's the second panel puzzle. Um, puzzle panel, sorry. So that's the first one. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with um, this to be honest. I like that design better. Um, yeah, it looks more solid. Yeah, <laughs> what do you guys think? No man, I can't wait to actually complete these slime puzzles. Um, did I miss any corners? I hope not. I need to lock this map in and uh, call it today. All right, so the next few maps, uh, next two maps, has the same grid, which is six by six. And um, the good thing is I started um, most of the lines are filled in. So I uh, let me show you the other two maps I have to make. Um, so so it's so I've made this map. That's the fourth map. Um, can see the resemblance there. Um, the next two maps are the these two ones over here, and you can see that in these two maps, most of the grid is filled in, and there's like few lines um, that are sort of broken. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to firstly fill in all the lines, and then uh, take out the the gaps. And uh, I think these two should be straightforward to make. So I'll get to that. What is that? Alright, um, the next puzzle is also done. I'm just replace this with my specialty puzzle panel. <laughs> okay, for saying puzzle panel, I meant to say puzzle panel. Um, the tongue twister. There we go. Wait, I need a item frame. Cool. <laughs> Alright, what do you guys think? This is this is look good. This is look good. Um. So this was this didn't take too much time to make. All I had to do was to fill in the the previous panel, uh, panel over here. So I'll show you what I mean. So essentially, I had to fill in all the lines here, like one by one. And once I fill in all the lines, all all I had to just do is cut out the actual holes. So that's why that didn't take as much as time. It would have otherwise. It did take time to fill in all the lines, but apart from that, it should be it was fine. Right, so uh, this is a nice sea stake because one of the line, uh, solutions here um, opens the gate back back in there. Um, I think I spoiled it for some of you. <laughs> Either way, uh, yeah, so that's done. Uh, let me cut to the next clip when I'm getting the next part done. Also, I need to lock this map in. Another day, another frame. I think this is where this goes. Uh, I could be wrong. I need to double check the game again, but I'm pretty sure this is where this is in, in the game. Um, okay, what do you guys think? Um, I think that that is also... Um, this didn't actually take that long. Compa uh, compared to all the other maps, so this didn't actually take that long. Um, because all I had to do was to, because um, this map pretty much had the same patterns everywhere, or like the gaps. There was few gaps that was different. I can sort of illustrate that using the uh, the map itself. So this is the the one that I'm trying to make, the one there. And if I go to the other one, it's the, yeah, there you go. So this one you can sort of see that it pretty much has the same sort of gaps. I just had to uh, tweak the, the placements of the circles and add a new circle and um, change where the end is, uh, the ends are, I guess. Um, yeah, so what do you guys think? Um, so that puzzle panel is done. <laughs> Ooh, this, this, uh, this is getting close to the actual bell. Anyways, um, that's done. All right, on to, the, uh, on to the next few puzzle panels. All right, this one here, this one there. And there's one here. I need to fix this one, but there's one there.
And it's done. <laughs> this is the last of the maps I'm gonna actually be making through, um, you know, actual maps. Um, as I mentioned, I'm gonna move on to the mod, um, move this whole thing over to the mod. So I don't have to do this twice and long again and again. <laughs> No, still don't know what that is. Um, anyways, so uh, what do you guys think of this map? I feel like that's perfect. Look at how crisp, crisp <laughs> this map looks. Oh man! All right, let's um, let's put where it belongs. So I have a uh, need to get the actual locked one. So that's the locked map. Um, I almost made a big mistake, by the way. I almost tore down some parts of the some parts of the previous map without realizing I've locked the actual map I'm supposed to lock and I've, that was that would have wasted so much of my time rebuilding <laughs> that um, good thing I've noticed that I forgot to lock it uh, like as soon as I started uh, breaking it down so this is where this map goes um, so instead of this two blocks I'll just use andesite stone breaks ooh stone brick wall because I've used andesite columns ah oh, fuck Okay, got, got the right block. Um, get rid of these for now, and I use the other side walls. I'm gonna put in my item frame, oops, item frame, and then the actual map that is locked. Yeah, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> all right, all the uh, all the puzzle panels in the starting area is done, finally, except for that one there, uh, which I'm gonna, uh, I mean, it's, so this one here is a special kind of a puzzle panel um, because this is the the diagonal. So I'll show you what I mean. Um, where's my where's my puzzles? Let me grab my puzzles quickly. So it's this one over here. Um, if you look at that, this is a diagonal, right? So um, I could make it in like two different maps. So essentially a two part map, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna actually make use of the actual puzzles. Um, the mod side of things to make that anyway, so I don't want to waste too much time making all these puzzle panels where I'm gonna throw them away, so um, This is not going to stay, but all these are just for the show really <laughs> um, All right, so let me show all the puzzle panels so far So we got the first table puzzle panel where the easiest one ever um, Then we got the second puzzle panel Sorry about that. My keyboard died in the middle of while I was recording um, the second puzzle panel, I think most users would go to the, uh, go to that. can't remember, I think one of these is locked and you have to unlock them by, you know, uh, do the extra puzzle. So this is the second puzzle panel, that's a 10 by 10, and this is a 6 by 6, one of the 6 by 6s. And that's the second one, th third one there, and the fourth one is down here, cable comes through over here, and uh, this is the fourth puzzle panel. Um, um, one of this puzzle panel is kind of interesting because it makes you solve the whole puzzle once and then it makes you realize that that's not the line you want to lay light and it makes you want to makes you solve the puzzle once again and intentionally make you go over the, uh, the solution the first solution and go to the second solution so some of these puzzles are t uh, this especially once in the starting area they're teaching you how the game works um, so it's pretty straightforward when you initially see one of these puzzles, right? Because uh, it's obviously you had to just do, 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 just go to the end, like good old days. We used to solve puzzles, like you know, as a kid, and those maze puzzles. But uh, what this game teaches you, oh man, it's dark here again. As I was saying, what this game is teaching you is that um, it's trying to teach you a bunch of rules on top of the rules you already know, you know. So. Here you can get to the, um, so this puzzle is specifically uh, teaching you that there could be more than just one starting a starting point to a puzzle. So it's like a maze where you have two doors to enter the maze. Um, in this case, one door leads to nowhere, whereas the second door is the one that actually leads to the solution, like that. So that's what the game is trying to teach you. Um, the fact that um, it's, it introduces you with a, a concept that you already uh, familiar with and gradually build up on top of each of the existing rules to teach you the morals. Um, so this one over here teaches you that it doesn't have to start from one of the edges, it could start anywhere really. Uh, I think that's what the, this puzzle panel is trying to teach you and what this is trying to teach you is that um, I think this is the first one that teaches you that you can your line cannot cross over itself. I could be wrong, maybe yeah, I think it's it's teaching you that you can't 
crossover EO online or something like that. Um, yeah, and the one here I already explained. So those are the first five the sort of puzzle panels. There's a few more here on the entry area where you have to solve the two puzzles as you enter. The, the very two puzzles where you have to draw a straight line and a, a bent line, I guess. Once those two done are done, I'll, uh, I think the empty area is done. So I still have to work on some of the vegetation down here. So that's what I'm going to do next. Be right back. I can't wait to show you guys this. So I finished all the maps for this area except for the first two. And also I finished all the vegetation. And I think this is like 90% done. I will also enable the shader just for the shares I guess. Yes, it's kind of complete. It's mostly complete. What do you guys think? I've added all the vegetation, every grass, grass block, every bush is in the right place now. Add all the vegetation here, and add the puzzles here as well, and completed all the, added all the um, bushes and the puzzle here as well, and added all the Look at that. What do you guys think? Is this one to one? Let me know. There's a small canal over here. Added all the bushes here. And added the resting area here. I still need to add the couch. I'm thinking what material I could use for that. I'm looking for a brown slab essentially. But once I have it, I'll add that in. But this is how it looks like. And this is the uh, the last one of the last areas. All right, <laughs> it's done. The starting area is done at least. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, enable the shaders so the shares. I think I need to add some lily pads and some small flowers here. But apart from that, it's all done. I've escaped my prison. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> That's where I think I'm gonna leave this episode guys. Thanks for watching and uh, in the next few episodes I'll be not sure what I'm gonna be doing to be honest. This has been like a goal of mine getting the starting area done to the, the, the fullest extent I can get it done. Now that I've get it, gotten it done, I'm not sure what to do next. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I think I wanna work on more side of things and get all these panels actually interactive. Once I get those interactive, I'll work on um, the bunker area down here. But that'll be in the next few episodes, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of The Witness Minecraft. Subscribe. Bye.